So this speech, I'm going to start it off with a little bit of a personal anecdote here. Last Tuesday, I was up till about 3 a.m. in the morning, showed up to this class the next day, running on about three and a half hours of sleep. They may not have showed up a little bit late. And that is because I decided to save a 2,500 word essay until just about the last night where I had about 2,200 words to write. So, was it worth it? In my mind, not at the time when I was writing it, it seemed like it sucked. But when I look back at all that I did, because I didn't do it beforehand, in a way, yeah, it was kind of worth it. So that is why I believe that sometimes that we should never do today what you can put off until next week, especially for social and motivational reasons. Now you guys may be wondering, how can somebody be motivated who puts off a very large paper to the last second? Well, for me at least, I get very motivated the closer I get to a due date. You know, you start a paper or an essay or a uh, exam that's 51 line at about 10 o'clock, it's due at 11.59, say you have like a big exam or a big paper, three hours to do it, you're gonna be very motivated. You're gonna wanna get that done on time because you put off the last minute and have two hours on it. So definitely a very big motivational factor. Also, I'm one of the people one of the few people in this world that can do good work under pressure just because, I mean, at that point it has to get done. So if you don't get it done, you're gonna get a zero, so might as well do all you can to try to avoid getting a zero. And then for the social reasons, you know, one time, another personal anecdote, last year, around the start of the school year, there was this rap festival called, Roll, uh, not Rolling Loud, Day and Night, and that went on from Friday till Sunday. This is the start of my senior year. It's supposed to be a good year. Kick it off good academically. Second week into school, I ditched on a Friday. And I went from Friday through Sunday. And I also had a, it's called an AP one sheet. It's like a kind of sort of book review going through all the main points of a book for an advanced placement class. That I did not finish until Sunday morning, not Sunday morning, Monday morning, before class. And I think now looking back at it, sure, I could have done it beforehand, but I wouldn't have been able to mentally prep for the festival ahead. <laughs> and I have a cool story to go along with it. Like, sure, may have been in the mosh pits for a long time, may have been tired, may have been exhausted, but I'm a good student. I finished my point sheet after a weekend long rap festival. So in conclusion, when you think that you should do something on time and give yourself time to enjoy life after the fact, you should probably just enjoy it beforehand. Thank you. Oh, you keep that. Love it. the anecdote at the beginning and I think you should just start with that instead of telling us for the start of this speech I'm going to share an anecdote with you don't do that part uh, you don't need to do that uh, I thought it was amusing it sets up your topic pretty well you've got a clear statement of what your point of view is on that I thought that was fine there's not really a preview of the supporting material as I'm listening it sounds like you think you've got an organizational structure but I couldn't pick it out it basically re revolves around your examples and the examples I think are pretty good you find some nice detail on each of those examples to talk about and make it come alive and make it interesting and that's exactly the kind of thing that you want to do when you're doing this kind of presentation is to keep it engaging you know especially when you're talking about yourself it should be easier so you can remember a little bit of a detail about you know the API uh, paper that you're doing or the uh, you know exactly how much time you had left to get something done or how many words are going supposed to be in it and when you add those little bits of detail it makes it more interesting and more involving to us presentation wise I think everything is solid uh, your facial expressions and your um, eye contact are excellent uh, there are a few gestures while you're speaking uh, that seem like they're engaged um, 
you know, maybe uh, maybe uh, your projection could be a little higher, but that's that's a minor quibble. I didn't think anything was problematic. All right, thank you. 